Hey everyone, this is Dr. Sack coming here, Performance Sport and Spine. In today's video, we'll discussing the six best exercises for people dealing with knee arthritis. Band and knee extension. So anchor the band behind you and put the strap around your ankle. On a step, make mild tension at rest. Contracting your anterior part of your leg, your quad, straighten your knee fully, and then bring back to starting position. Again, as you contract your quad, you should feel gentle tension over your anterior leg, and you should think about pulling your kneecap up towards your hip. We're gonna do two sets of 10 to 12 reps. To increase the difficulty, get a stiffer band or pull the band farther back behind you. To decrease the difficulty, you may just start with just your body weight or a less stiff band. If you need to, you can use a different band like we demonstrate here, that's smaller, or an ankle weight will also work. Hand and knee flexion. Anger one aspect of the band away from you. Place the other aspect around your ankle. Pull your foot under your buttocks in a seated position. You should feel gentle dull tension on the posterior leg or your hamstring. Again, try to make full range of motion and straighten your leg all the way and bring your foot back as far as possible. We recommend two sets of 10 to 12 reps. To increase the difficulty, get a stiffer band or anchor farther away from you. To decrease the difficulty, use a less stiff band or just your body weight. Seated clamshell. So in a seated position, put the band around your knees. And then using your glutes, press your knees outwards against the resistance of the band, slow and controlled, and back. We recommend two sets of 10 to 12 reps, three to four times a week. To increase the difficulty, make a more stiff band and place it around your legs. To decrease the difficulty, use a less stiff band or simply just use your body weight initially. So glute bridge, laying on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, using your butt and hip muscles, you're gonna drive up towards the ceiling and down. Make sure to feel it in your butt and hamstrings and not your back. If you are, you can press your back against the floor and drive up. We'll also link a different video that can help address this with different cues. Again, the tension should be in your hip and buttocks. We recommend two sets of 10, three to four times a week. Horizontal slide. So with the band anchored again around one ankle and then opposite side, Put your foot on a slider. If you don't have a slider, you can use like a washcloth on a hardwood floor and you're gonna press your leg to the opposite direction, feeling tension on this hip and coming back. Now, since we're dealing with knee OA, you wanna lean into the wall and make sure you emphasize loading your hip first and not your knee. Work on increasing the range of motion as you feel comfortable and your symptoms allow. We recommend two sets of six to eight reps with this and increase as you feel tolerance. Box squat, so have a box behind you Cross your arms and sit down, loading your hips and keeping your weight over your midfoot. Now this is the most challenging of this series, so there's a couple of variations that we can do that will demonstrate the end of this. Again, as you squat down, load your hips and keep your weight over your midfoot. Try hard not to lean forward or lean your torso forward. We recommend two sets of six to 10 reps three times a week. Now a couple of variations that we can do is make the box higher so we can reduce the range of motion, or you can do a ball wall squat to build strength and then transfer this later.